Hi, in this video, we will see how we can download Pandoc on our Windows computer. Uh, this Pandoc document, uh, Pandoc software can be used also in Mac. You can also download and install for Mac or other operating system also. So at first open the browser. I am using Google Chrome browser. Then just go google.com and start typing Pandoc and you start searching over there in Google and you will find the Pandoc official website so this is the URL pandoc.org instead of going like Google searching and to come this way uh, you can directly type here and you can also access this site I'm going to click here to access this site so this is the Pandoc and here basically there is a little description what it can do and also there is some other things details so this is very strong software uh, using this thing you can convert many different formats you don't need any other software like page software you don't need there are many page software which are built based on this tool also so far i know uh, but i'm not going to disclose those names of the software uh, here you will see how we can download install it and i will show you a small demo uh, probably next video not this video how to use this software to convert one format to another format file so let's see how we can install it so at first we need to click this on this button the installing so once you click there then you'll find this type of page right side you will find couple of options there like windows mac os linux chrome os so many things so these are the operating system and this software can be installed any version of this operating system whatever the operating system you are using you just need to click here like mac os you have to click here mac os and then you need to download the mac os version i am using windows currently so i am going to click windows and it will show uh, this is the windows download and installation location and there is a button download uh, the latest installer you can also click here and then it will bring us this type of page uh, from here you'll, this is a github page of the downloads thing and here you will see all versions of this software is available and you see these are the latest one and it updated like two weeks before so pretty new almost so here we are seeing like these are the windows version it is mentioning like 64 bit this is MSA format, this is Jeep format, this is package format, Pandoc, Mac OS, this is the Mac OS version, this is the Windows version, this is Linux version, and like this way. And if you don't understand what version you need, uh, you can directly come here, I mean go back to this page, Pandoc, install this page, and from here you can choose. Suppose you are using uh, Chrome OS operating system, you can click here, and then you just need to download or follow this instruction to download and install it so let's see on the windows version so i'm going to click here download latest installer and from here i will choose this version windows 64 msi so the main reason i'm using this thing so that it is easy to install that's why i am using this route but you can also use the other version or other option also just click here and then you will access uh, the download Page and very shortly it will be downloaded and here you will see it is downloaded completely so it is a small size almost 30 you can say 40 megabyte less than 40 megabyte as done and it is installed on the download location of my computer I'm going to access the folder where it is downloaded and here I see that this is the software which I downloaded just now this is the Pandoc and this is the version 3.2.1 and Windows X 86 64 bit version of Pandoc. Now I'm going to minimize everything and let's install it. Just double click on top of it and then it will give us this type of window. Here it is asking, I accept the terms in the license agreement. We need to check this thing by clicking, then only we can go forward. And then we have to, and there is there is other thing install for all users uh, of this machine. So I am the only user for this machine, so I am not going to check this thing. But if your computer is used by several other people, like three or two other people, then you can check this box. 
so that this software will be available for everybody now there are a couple of buttons are there we just need to press the install button to proceed the installation so i'm going to minimize this window because it will be clean and nice looking and now we can focus only this part now press the install button and you will see there is a status bar and here it is showing the software installation status of this pen rock it will take some time like less than one minute to install the software and once it is installed then you can use it very easy, uh, nicely and you can format all the different formats of file whichever you need once the installation is completed successfully you will get this type of message and it will show you where it is installed right now for my case it is showing that this location it is installed see users then my computer name uh, not computer name my username then app data local pen doc and to close this thing just click on finish and it will be finished once you install the software you can also verify uh, by using con prompt so i'm going to click search and then i'm going to type cmd and we'll see con prompt is there we just need to click here and the con prompt window will be opened now we can verify whether it is installed properly or not to verify whether the software is installed or not we have to write on command the command is to span doc and then we have to press a space and then minus or dash whatever you can say then v v for version and then once we type this thing we have to press enter key of our keyboard and it will show us the details like pen doc this is the version and here it is also showing the that the user data directory so here all the data will be there like this if the software is installed properly then only you will get this message otherwise you will get different type of messages if you get different type of messages that means your software is not installed properly or the software is missing at the time you have to follow the whole step uh, which i showed you to download and install and later you can verify it like this way so that's it guys uh, thank you for watching the video in the next video or like couple of days later i'll show you how we can use this software to convert uh, one format file to another format of file so see you then thank you guys for watching the video